Hi everybody, it's Alice Eisenbart and today I'm here to help you along with um, layering and actually going through the process of cutting all your vinyl for the Apple Word Art project. I apologize that I did not include those instructions or suggestions in the previous videos, but I am always pressed for time. I'm only given 15 minutes to record and I was really, really close to um, not being able to get everything in, so I cut that part out. Today I'll go ahead and explain the process that I use in order to go ahead and get this cut and on a surface. Uh, for this um, demonstration, I'm going to uh, we're going to go ahead and go on the premise that this is being mounted on the outside of a glass um, or on the outside of a surface. Um, if you were going to put this on the inside of a glass frame or something, um, you would want to reverse or flip horizontally all your uh, diff your your whole image um, so that it would then. Um, go on the inside. So um, the first thing that I want to mention is the fact that this will go a lot smoother if you go ahead and create some registration marks for yourself. These would be different than the registration marks one uses for print and cut. So um, these you create by using the, I, I use the, the rectangle tool. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> um, so I'll move these aside for now just to show you what I did. Um, I went over to the rectangle tool. I drew myself a little rectangle. I went ahead, right clicked, copied, and then I did a paste. And then I drag it over to this side. And I position it sort of like it would where it would cover the whole area. Um, I don't bring them in too closely because to me that just seems like it would be much more difficult to line up. I like that by spreading it out a little bit that it covers a larger area and the chances of you being able to layer your vinyl down are better I think if they're separated just a bit. I also leave a little bit of a gap in here and that is because layer um, later on when we talk about the actual layering process you'll see that it um, makes it much easier if you've got a gap um, because I do use a carrier sheet to protect my vinyl layers. Uh, I'll go into detail later. So the first thing you want to do once you get your registration marks and I'm going to toss these out because I've got the ones up at the top here that I'll use. Um, I make sure that the first thing is that I always keep the cut lines on on the registration marks. So I go up to the scissor icon to the cut style window and make sure that it does say cut. The other thing you want to do is to be sure that everything else is a no cut. And if you're not positive, go back out here, select your entire image, but not the registration marks. Then go back to your scissor icon and say no cut. And they're very light so you know that there are no cut lines. If there were, you would see it like that. It just got really dark because I hit cut. But right now we want no cut on everything except your registration marks. At this point, you will never touch these again. You will not move them either. They need to stay exactly where they are for every single layer that you are going to cut. So let's go back out. I've turned off all the cut lines over here. And now we will start cutting by color. So these are turned on so you don't have to worry about it they're going to cut automatically. I will start, let's say we'll start with the red layer. So I would get my red vinyl. I would cut my sheet based on how big this image is um, and how much distance is from here all the way down to the last red. And you would cut, get a rough estimate, put your vinyl in on your mat and feed it into your silhouette. Then I would go ahead and select all my red. So I would uh, in the last video, I said to you, be sure that you have grouped all your words so that they are uh, whole words instead of individual letters. And that will just make, sorry about that, make life easier if when you go to start selecting everything. So Zachary is the red. I would select him, hold the shift key down, 
and continue to select all the remaining red words. So holding the shift key down, I'll hit Angelica. I will click on Conrad. I will click on Marco, Mia, Yi Young, Tyler, Merrill, and Sebastian. And I will go to my scissor icon and we're going to turn on the cut lines so that this is the only thing, including the registration marks, that the silhouette will cut on your red vinyl. Then you would go on, and this is out in the gray area, so you don't have to worry about this. Um, you will go on to your cut settings window, and then you will select your vinyl setting. You will select your blade. I use a one, you might use a two. Um, you might slow down your speed. I, I don't know how you use your preferred settings at this point. So make sure everything is on. Make sure your, your cutting mat is on. And then I would say cut. And your red will then cut out. And it will look like this. Whoops. And let me back out a little bit. Okay. When you're finished cutting, you're going to get a whole red sheet and then you're going to weed it and all you will have left will be these red words. And that's it, including the registration marks. And you want to go ahead and weed around them and leave them there. You'll need them. Then you go back and you work on your next color. The cut lines are always on on the registration marks, so that's not a problem. And then we will continue. I will move on with the orange. But first, I want to go back select my entire image and I will turn off all my cut lines again so I will say no cut and notice that everything went very very um, kind of milky um, not not very clear and that's because there are no cut lines except for the registration marks so let's go and pick our next color I will start with the orange so I will select Noah hold the shift key down move on to Bella Nate, Archer, Layla, and Grace. And I think that's it. I will go up to the scissor icon, turn on the cut lines, and you see they got dark. Now go ahead again, get your orange or whatever color vinyl, put your vinyl in there, and load it up, and make sure your settings are correct, and say cut. When you're done, you will have something like this one, where the or after you weed it, where the orange registration marks are there and your orange words only. Then you'll go back, make sure everything except those registration marks, leave those alone, but make sure everything else we turn off for cut lines. So nothing is cutting right now. Now let's move on to the next color and the next color is this tan. So I would start with Kira, hold the shift key down, pick Marisol, Kevin, Melania, and Maudo. And I would say, go to the scissor icon and say cut. And now we're ready to feed in our tan vinyl. When we cut it, um, this is what we would get a tan sheet you would weed it and you'd have tan registration marks and all the tan words and you're going to go on and on and do the same thing with the gold you're going to do the same thing with the brown and you're going to do the same thing with the green or however it is that you have your apple set up um, and so by the time you're done, you're going to have several sheets. You're going to have a one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six colors that I have cut. You may only have three. Um, you may only have two. It, it's going to depend on what you choose to do with your word art. But when you're ready to actually put this down on a surface, um, what I like to do is. I will go ahead and let's say I'll start with the red as my my bottom layer 
So I will take it and I will go ahead and that will be the one that you will center over your area and get down first. After that, every color that you go to put uh, to layer, you are going to use these registration marks to line up over that first color. So if I put the red down first and then I'm going to work on orange, well then I would take this and before I do, you know the carrier sheet that comes off of these, the, the extra, that extra paper that you peel away? I save it and I use it for this purpose and that's why I had you leave a gap up here, a little gap so that you can stick this paper and um, it's the carrier sheet that comes off the vinyl and I would put it over the words so that when you go to stick this down and line up everything, you only have to worry about those registration marks and lining them up so that the vinyl, the stickiness of this vinyl is being protected by that carrier sheet because it's kind of waxy. Um, and that'll let you go ahead and fiddle, you know, just kind of tinker with this and line up the registration marks so that they are stacked exactly on top of each other. Because you've stacked them and you've only had to focus on this, these two areas and not this, now you can pull up this sheet, lift away the carrier sheet, and put your orange back down. And everything will line up where it has to go. And then you'll move on to your next color. You will put that carrier sheet back over to protect those words. What you're doing is you're just not letting this stick to your surface yet until you line up everything. So cover it up with the carrier sheet. Bring your tan over. Sorry. And line those up um, until they are perfectly stacked where you don't see the other colors underneath. And I'm having a hard time because I'm trying to do this with the mouse and I am just not the best at trying to line things up. But okay, so you've lined them up. You would lift up the sheet a little bit with this color and pull away that carrier sheet. And now you notice that the tan is now where it's supposed to be. And you continue to do this with every single layer. Put your carrier sheet back on top, over, on top of here. This will go. You will line up the registration marks. Whoops, bring front. Line up the registration marks. Don't worry about the words. Just worry about lining this up. And when you have it lined up, then pull away the sheet and drop down your, your gold. And this is what you do. The next one would be the brown. You take it, put your carrier sheet on top, cover everything up, and then line this up on top here. Sorry. Line up your registration marks and then pull away your carrier sheet. Last one here, same thing. Put your carrier sheet over, protect everything, put this one on top. And you don't have to do all this bring to front. My, it, this is just for demonstration. Um, line it up. Make sure everything is lined up and everything is stacked perfectly. You can tell mine are not, but you get the idea. And everything lines up. And there you have it. So I hope that this has helped. I hope that this gives you a better understanding of how it is that you go about layering all the different colors and why you would use registration marks and why it's helpful to use that carrier sheet. Um, it's just protecting and, and not allowing your vinyl to stick before you're ready to have it stick so that it allows you to focus just on lining up those registration marks. All right. Good luck. I hope this works for you. Like I said, there are so many different ways to go about this. This is what works best for me. Just don't forget to turn on and turn off those reg the, the lines, the cut lines for every color as you go along. All right. Good luck. Bye.